Welcome back everyone to another DE Hammer video. In today's video, we're gonna be using Carbide Create to make a raised text sign with a V carve, just like this one right here. This is done on expanded PVC board, and it was my first time using it, and I have to say I'm pretty excited. Uh, I like this stuff, I can't wait to play around with it some more and try out some other stuff. So I do want to point out that the speeds and feeds during the toolpathing part are cautiously low, and I sped them up during the actual carve, but I'll throw all of that up during the time lapse. So before we get into the video, remember if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to keep up with all the latest DE Hammer videos. So let's get into this. Getting started, we're in Carbide Create. Everything we'll be doing here, you can do in the free version. Uh, I am using Pro, so mine may look a little bit different than yours. We're also on build 623. First off, we're gonna wanna make sure our stock material is all put in. I'm gonna be using expanded PVC board, and those are 12 inches by 12 inches, or 304.8 millimeters by 304.8 millimeters. And we're not cutting through, so thickness is not an issue for me, but it is approximately 12 millimeters. And we'll have the retract height set to three. Now that we have all our setup ready, first thing I wanna do here is I'm gonna grab rectangle and just start dragging that out. And then we're gonna come over to the transform and scale it. I'm just gonna scale it about so, and notice I have two grid spaces, top, left, and right-hand side. And this is where we're gonna put our text inside so we can do a raised text. Next, we're gonna click here, and we're gonna go to boldly go, exclamation point. Now to see that, we hit apply, and it changes this for us. And that's about good right there. You can see we have about five, about 10 millimeters there, 10 millimeters there. We can zoom in, get this. There we go. And there we go. So about 10 millimeters on each side. Now we could come in here and mess around with the spacing and everything, but for right now, I'm gonna let that be. And we're going to go ahead and convert this to curves. And now when we click on this, instead of it being a font, it is a vector. And what I like to do here is each word go through, select, and then group them. We can always ungroup these later. But we'll just bundle all that like so. Now. Let's go ahead and import our SVG. And it's a little bit big for this board. That's not an issue. We can come over here to scale and then grab a corner and scale it down. That looks about good for good size for this board. We're going to go ahead and hit done. And then we're going to group that together. We're not finished yet. Next. On our uh, COM badge here, I'm going to come to Offset Vectors. And I have a four millimeter offset on this on the outside. We'll hit Apply. And so that draw drew all the this line around our COM badge. And we'll, I'll show you in a little bit why we're doing that. But we can go ahead and group that together and then deselect. And now we're ready to go over and start looking at the tool paths. To start off, we're gonna work with the text. And so what we want is for these letters to be raised and the background be cut down. So with everything selected, we're gonna come over to pocket. And I will be using a 3.17 five millimeter two flute bit for this. And we can tell, need to go in and edit this up a little bit. 
And let's change this over to four millimeter step. Or let's do that at two millimeter step. We'll hit OK. Let it calculate. Now let's show the simulation. And yeah, we don't have enough spacing between the T and the O. We don't have enough spacing in the Y right there or the G, but we can fix those easily. So let's hide the simulation. Let's go back to design, click off everything. We can click our text, ungroup it, and then ungroup all those vectors. So now each one is its own again. And we did not have enough spacing here, so we're gonna go ahead and, oops, make sure those are selected and that you see the shadow effect behind it. So you know it's selected, we'll move it over just a little. There we go, that looks about five millimeters there, but enough for our bit to get in. Now let's come clean up this Y. So we'll click on the Y and then we'll come over to the design area. Click the node edit. And now we want to grab those. I'm just dragging and selecting and then holding down shift to grab these. And now I just oh, want to make sure you grab a node and not one of the arms. We're just going to drag this down. And that should be good. Oh, we didn't get that. Went down too far right there with that, but that's OK. That's because I messed with that arm right there. But we can just go and fix it up right there. And there we go. We can hit done. Zoom out. And now we can work on the G. And we're just going to do the same thing here. So we're going to go ahead and select all these. And move them over. And we'll get these and this one. And move them down. And we'll just move that up just a little bit. Hit done. Now let's go back to our tool paths. And as you can see, it's already calculated. It's going in there. A Y is good and clean there. And we look pretty clean everywhere. One thing I do want to do is I want to come back to the pocket here, edit, and depth per pass is good. But for step over, I'm going to change that down to one point. Mm, Two. There we go. Hit OK. Let it refigure everything. Let's show the simulation. And I like it. Now we can get on to the COM badge. As I mentioned earlier, there was a reason I wanted to offset that. So let's Go ahead and just select our original import, this inner part right here, and just click on V carve. It's already set to the 13 millimeter V bit I'll be using. Max depth, I'm going to set that to four. And then let's hit OK. OK, now show the simulation. And not bad, I could live with it. Now, if we select everything in that offset path we did, come back in here, select everything, hit OK. Now let's show the simulation. And personally, I prefer that. I like that look, and I feel that's more what I was going for in this. The only thing is, we got some issues here and here. I would like that to come out a little bit. Again, nothing we can't fix. So let's hide the simulation. Go back to design. With this selected, we'll get everything undone. 
And actually right here, we'll let's delete all those outsides that we did. We can redo that here in a little bit. And we're just going to bring that out a little bit. There we go. Bring this out a little bit. And bring that down a little bit. Now we'll reselect everything. Offset a four. Came a little too far out on this one, so we'll control Z. There we go. Select everything. Offset again. And that should be better. Let's go ahead and regroup that. Come back to our tool paths. Double click on the V-Carve tool path. Select everything. Hit OK. And there we go. That's a little bit better. A little bit larger depth there. And I like it. All right, so we'll hide the simulation real quick. With all this selected, I'm going to group everything so we can get this center to our board. And we'll do that by align vectors. And then we're going to align them left and right. And everything should still be the way it is. Now we're ready to go to save G code. But before we do that, first we want to come up here. We want to disable our V carve. So we're just saving the pocket tool and we'll hit save G code and we'll call this pocket to boldly go TBG for TNG. Haha. <laughs> we'll go ahead and save it. Now we'll disable our pocket and enable our V carve. Come down to save G code. And now we're going to go V carve to boldly go TBG and hit save. And there we'll get one last look at it. Just make sure before we get this saved on a USB drive and go out and cut that we like everything. And I do. Real quick note, since we will be using two different bits and my machine doesn't have an auto tool changer, we are going to want to rehome off the X0 and Y0. And so we're going to go open up our G code, scroll down to the bottom. We're going to find the last Z lift up or Z. And we're going to come in here. We're going to go X0.00, enter Y0.00, save. And we're going to come and do that for this one as well. Control say S for save. Personally, I like to zero everything off with the V bit. You just have that nice point. You can get right on the corner, just a little bit easier to see. So that's just my personal preference. But again, you can do whichever one of these first that you want. Now we're ready to get these on the USB and start cutting. And not too bad for the first time with uh, expanded PVC. I really like this stuff. Can't wait to play around with it some more. And as I do, I'll share little tips and tricks that I've picked up on it. And I'm pretty sure you could cut this with a uh, 3018 as well. Uh, I'll give that a try and let you know how that goes. Thanks everyone for watching. Remember, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe and bell button. And until next time, Keep making stuff.